Good morning, I'm Angel Flores. And I'm Sam Loveland, and this is Wolfpack News for Friday, February 28, 2014. Top of the news, juniors and seniors, you have one last opportunity to earn a free ticket to prom, senior brunch, or senior celebration by selling market day desserts. To students will also receive free music downloads with dessert orders. Our goal is 500 desserts. For order forms and guidelines, please see Ms. Subi in room E395 or Ms. Calvi in room F226. Orders and payment must be turned in no later then by Tuesday, March 11th, orders will arrive Wednesday, March 19th, in time for spring break. We love the Wolfpack Pride at OE, but it seems other high schools and one college are using the hashtag Wolfpack, Wolfpack Pride. So instead, to post to Instagram and Twitter, use hashtag OE Wolf Pride for shoutouts, learning, accomplishments, and everything else. The OEHS student-designed newspaper magazine, The Edge, went on sale this morning before school and remains on sale throughout the end of the lunch hour today. This month's edition features coverage related to the state's new co console and carry law uh, and the limits of sp free speech, standardized testing, and more. The Edge costs only 50 cents. Monday's delicious muffin flavors will be vanilla chocolate chunk, blueberry, chocolate chocolate chunk, chocolate banana, and apple crumb. Stop by the Commons muffin table before school and pick one up for $1. Senior t-shirts are on clearance for $5. Pick one up at the Muffin Monday table or World's Finest Chocolate table this week. Last Saturday, Owee's Pop Acapella Choir Voice Activated performed at the International Competition of High School Acapella Semifinals at DeKalb High School. Chan Chandler Stitch, one of Voice Activated's captains, is here with more. Welcome, Chandler. Can you tell us a bit about Voice Activated and the ICHSA? Uh, right, so we're a um, pop acapella group, and uh, we sing anywhere, you know, from three to five songs a concert, and we just kind of learn these music like, like we did Sign Seal Delivered, and, you know, Come on Eileen, like songs that people know. And um, yeah, ICHSA is a competition for high school acapella um, like competitors, and it, we went to it on Saturday, and we did well. What kind of work did the group do in order to prepare, and to prepare for the competition? Right, we learned uh, three songs for this competition. Um, Fix You by Coldplay, which was a big hit, uh, Sign Seal Delivered, like I said, and Come on Eileen. So, uh, we had to do a lot of work for the, from December on till Saturday. We worked really hard. What are you proudest of about the group and the performance on Saturday? Right. Um, the group did really great. I'm really proud of them. Um, we, we ended up not finishing as high as we wanted to, but overall we learned this music. It was a great turnaround. It was really proud of them. What are you and the other members taking away from this competition, and do you have any plans to return again? Right. Uh, we'd love to return again. Uh, we're going to put in another video in like November, and hopefully we get accepted. Um, but yeah, we're going to take away a lot of things. We learned a lot when we were there, like what to move, how to, you know, certain vowel sounds and all that t technical stuff. So we're going to put it in. Um, like we said, we're going to send in a new video, and hopefully we get, you know, accepted again. Hey, thanks Chandler, and good luck next year. Now let's send it back to the Anchor Desk. If you read at least four of the Abraham Lincoln or Read for a Lifetime nominated books this year, stop by the LRC and let the staff know which titles you finished. It's time for all high school students across the state to vote for their favorites of the year, and the LRC staff will be sending out invitations soon to the Spring Book Breakfast. Attention all students traveling to London, France, and Spain. Spain this summer. There will be a short meeting Monday in room J106 after school. If you cannot attend, please see Ms. Morelli. The first of three meetings for graphic students competing at Skills will be Tuesday at 2.30 in room B250. Attendance is mandatory. Failure to attend will result in your expulsion from Skills and our trip. Lamb Among Wolves will meet today from 2.30 to 3.30 in the LRC. The LRC has an additional 18 computers available for student use during the day. If you need to use a computer during your guided study or lunch hour, stop by the library either the afternoon prior or the morning of to obtain a pass. Have you read the one book, one school, Divergent? If not, make sure you do it before the movie release on March 21st. There are still paperback copies for sale in the LRC for $10 and several copies for checkout. Once you've read the book, stop by the library to pick up your... F to pick up your faction pin and enter into the drawing for even more prizes. Wolfpack News will be back right after this message about the turnabout dance tomorrow.
If you're looking for commuter service opportunities, Boulder Hill Elementary School needs students to help with market day pickup. Homestead, Old Post, and Long Beach Elementary Schools need volunteers to help run their fun fairs. And Murphy Junior High School needs volunteers to run their dodgeball tournament on Saturday. Come to Student Services for more information. Juniors with a cumulative GPA of 3.5 or higher are eligible for membership in the National Honor Society. See Mrs. Calvi in F226 or check our website for details. All materials are due next Monday. And now it's time for sports. Here's Syrian. Tonight, the Varsity Warrior hockey team will play arch-rival Naperville Central at All Seasons Ice Rink in a championship playoff series at 8.50 p.m. and tomorrow at 6.30 p.m. Attention girls volleyball players, there will be a meeting on Tuesday, March 11th at 7 a.m. in E396 for summer and fall information. See Coach Th Thurwell with questions. Attend attention ladies, any, any ladies interested in playing badminton. The season and practice officially start this coming Monday at 2.45 in the new gym. Any questions, see Coach Yurko or Hillman. OE girls soccer tryouts will be next Monday through Wednesday, 2.45 to 4.45 after school in the main gym. Any girl interested, please come to G237 after school on Thursday or before school Friday to check in with a coach. That's latest in sports. Now back to the anchor desk. That's today's edition of OPEC News. I'm Angel Flores. And I'm Sam Loveland. Join us again Monday on East TV Channel 16. Thanks for stopping by, Wolves, and have a great day.